A briefing on current developments in Sri Lanka for the Colombo-based diplomatic corps were held recently under the patronage of Minister of Foreign Affairs Ali Sabri. The briefing was also attended by Foreign Secretary Aruni Vijayawardena, as well as High Commissioners and Ambassadors of Diplomatic Missions and the officials of the UN based in Colombo. During the briefing, Minister Ali Sabri said the meeting was a continuation of regular briefings organized by the ministry to share information on current developments in the country. Several key developments were highlighted by the minister including financial stabilization measures and steps taken towards economic recovery and growth. Further, the current status of legislative reforms including the adoption of the anti-corruption bill, the proposed truth-seeking mechanism as well as the proposed anti-terrorism bill were outlined. Minister of Foreign Affairs also emphasized on the salient points of the statement made by the president on the 9th this month in parliament pertaining to the 13th amendment. The minister also presented a summary of the progress made under the ongoing reconciliation endeavors and the work being carried out by the independent mechanisms. In the meantime, Foreign Secretary Aruni Vijayawardena outlined Sri Lanka's ongoing participation in multilateral fora, including Sri Lanka's constructive engagement in the fourth cycle of the Universal Periodic Review, as well as the review of Sri Lanka's report under the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. She also highlighted the nation's ongoing engagement with the UN including Sri Lanka's participation in the upcoming 54th session of the Human Rights Council. The Foreign Secretary also highlighted the upcoming 5th Forum of Ministers of Environment Authorities of Asia Pacific which will be held in Colombo from the 3rd of October 2023 and the upcoming Indian Ocean Rim Association ministerial meeting scheduled to be held on the 11th of October 2023 where Sri Lanka will assume the chairmanship of the organization from 2023 to 2025.